Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the character creator for 3D avatar into Maya 2022 with the Maya Human IK controller rig setup. And now you can see in my Autodesk Maya, it already have the control rig for this CC3 avatar, this CC4 character creator for avatar, this is Camilla. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Before that, I'm going to reset my Autodesk Maya. Just click a new scene and I don't save this. Everything reset to zero. Right. Then from, from the character creator 4, I also start a new project. Everything start from beginning. And as demo, I'm going to just go and open an avatar. The CC4 Camilla. I'm going to to use this avatar. Now it is still loading. Process to render. Just wait for a few seconds for it to finish loaded. Right, this is a fresh new project. Then From the character creator 4, the first step, what you are going to do is just go to the motion under the animation, pose, calibrations, just make it a T-pose. This is the first step. If this is your 3D avatar in character creator 4, once you feel sati satisfied already, you can just export it as FBX. As demo, I'm going to export on my desktop, just right click here, new folder. I'm going to name this as Camilla from CC4. Right now, click File, Export FBX Cloth Character. The target tool preset, choose Maya, because your target is the Autodesk Maya. Then the FBX option, just choose the mesh. Embed the texture. Like this. Then check here. Scroll down until you can see, use the T-Post as bind post, just stick here. Click Export, click OK. Then as demo, I'm going to, to export it here. Just copy the destination location, Control c to copy. Then paste it here, Control v and press Enter. The file name, I'm going to name this as Camilla01. FBX, I click Save. It is going to export as FBX file at here. Once done already, it already exported, open the Autodesk Maya. Then from the folder, just drag the FBX in. It is going to import into the Autodesk Maya 2022. And we are going to go a few steps for the human, the Maya human IK setup. Now it is importing Sometimes it may show not responding, but just wait for a while. It is going to import. Now everything imported. Next step, make sure here you, ch you choose rigging. It is very important, choose rigging. Then you should be able to see the human IK at here. If you can't see, if you accidentally right click and close it, where to open. Just just make sure you come to the skeletons, human IK, click here, it is going to open back. Next you can see, these are the meshes, and where is the skeleton? Skeleton is here. <coughs> so the first step, you can just activate the wireframe, so that when you click the skeletons, you can see the whole skeleton. You also can adjust the size of the skeleton. Just come to display, animations, joint size. Then if you drag it, you can adjust the size of the skeleton so that you can see it clearer. Close it. Now, next add here, create the character definition. This is the first step. Next, we are going to map it to map it, you can just expand the CC base root bone. Just expand all. 
so that you can you can map on that. Right, next. We start from here, the hips. The hips always map to the hips. You can click here one time, then click the hip. Then it is going to plot and that, plot at that. Double click it. Then click here. Then it already map on that. The next one is the spine. The spine here, we have to choose it properly. Not this. Should be the waist. So double click, double click here, then click here. It map on there already. Once done already, where is the head? Wait. We find the head first, right here under the spine. Here, under the neck, neck twist. The head is at here, CC base head. So we double click, then click the CC base head. Next is the right arm. Right arm is very clear, you can directly click on here. Double click, then click on here. Double click, then click at here. Then next is the hand. Double click, then click at here. It automatic plot at another side here. You can learn automatically. Next is the leg, the type, double click, click. Then the knee, double click, then you click. The last one is the foot. We can see it here, then double click and plot that here. Last one is the root bone. Double click and click the root bone. Done. Once you've done everything, click here to lock it. Then, done. Back to the control to have a check. Save it. Click OK. Create control rig. Done. So now you already have a control rig. Like this. This is the Maya Human IK. Of course, the finger. I not check plot it just now. If you want, you can plot the finger as well. I already skipped this step. This is just a demo. You you can follow it step by step. Now you can see this avatar. It already have the control rig in Character Creator. Wait, it exported from Character Creator Four. Now it is in Autodesk Maya. It already have the control rig with the. Maya Human IK, and everything already set up properly. Right, that's all for today about my tutorial on how are you going to import the character creator for 3D avatar into Maya 2022. Set it up with a Maya Human IK control rig. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing. See you.